Welcome to today's Fast Track episode of The Growth Zone. My name is Christian Bartsch and these episodes provide you with a focused mind-feeding topic. You can use it to have some new ideas to guide you through the day. Let's get started on today's topic. So in today's episode, we are going to look at follow and no follow links. How should you handle backlinks that are no follow or do follow links? First, what are these links? No follow links are links that are marked in the page that is got uh, the link placed that is sending traffic to the other page. In that link code, you will find usually a keyword or a command element that is no follow or do follow or there's no such comment regards to follow or don't follow. So any no follow links usually has the impact that uh, the le relevance score isn't really passed on very well. Because what does it happen? The search engine goes on our website, scans on the text, scans the links, finds all the links and then sees no follow. What does it do? It decides not to follow the link because the website tells it don't follow that link. And so, of course, it will not follow the link and decide, okay, that's obviously a link that I don't need to take care of. So uh, what does it really then in clear, simple terms mean? You have to understand how these links are going to be useful for you or not. And that makes as well a big uh, part of your decision, especially if you maybe have to pay somebody or pay a website to get a link pointing at your own content. You have to decide what kind of link are they going to set. Are they going to have a no follow link? Are they going to have a do follow link? Or are they going to have a just a plain and simple link that doesn't tell the search engine not to follow? So there might be no text inside stating no follow or do follow. That's okay. But if it states no follow, then you must look at that deeper. The core value of nofollow links is the traffic they are sending to your website. If there is no real chance to get a significant amount of traffic, then you will not benefit from such nofollow links pointing at your website. As you recognize now, of course, that uh, nofollow links have a certain value but really usually about traffic the traffic that they are generating if the websites don't generate any traffic and they have no follow links then you don't really need to bother about them it doesn't isn't really going to be very helpful for you especially because google of course recognizes that these kind of links obviously are of no value at least not obviously relevant because it's just like an ad an advertising or somewhere on a website. And it's not really referring to real content that is beneficial for their visitors. And that's of course something that we don't really want to pay money for and therefore we should avoid that. And uh, looking at do follow links. So what's that? That's a website that has a link pointing to our website and inside the link code there's a information stating do follow which means the search engine scans a website finds the link and then considers should i follow that should i not follow that well the website isn't telling me i should not follow so i can follow it i scan the website of course where the link is pointing at and then i start evaluating if that link that interlinked connection, whether it makes any sense to my 
visitors, to my people who are searching for answers in a search machine. Which means as well, of course, that then the search engine will then eventually recognize that there is relevance between both sites, both pages, and increase the score of the page that is getting the visitors. That at the same time helps, of course, your ranking in Google too for people who are searching for answers in Google itself and then it'll be ranking it higher in the search results. So that's something that can help you as well. And links that don't have any kind of information, any kind of code hidden that is telling you uh, no follow or do follow, those links are good too because they are definitely not telling the search engine not to follow that link. So that link is good as well. But as I said in previous episodes, you must consider is the link, the link text and the content of both pages, are they relevant to each other? Does it make sense? Is there some kind of semantic and other kind of relationship that would be beneficial for those who are visiting the website? Always take the mind or take the view of the person who is searching for something, lands on page number one and then eventually goes to page number two. If they become very dissatisfied, then they obviously notice that there is no relevance, no value, and the amount of visitors eventually, in the long term, will drop. Looking forward to the next episodes on anchor tags and how to improve them. I hope you enjoyed the Fast Track edition of today. I would like to invite you to follow our show so that you don't miss the upcoming interviews with leaders in the market. Simply visit the website follow.prmediareach.com I will be adding the link also to the description of this episode so that you just need to click on that link. The link is follow dot pr media reach dot com follow dot pr media reach dot com you can follow me also on twitter by using the twitter handle cap barge so it's spelled c a P B A R T S C H. Or for those who are into sailing and uh, flying, Charlie Alpha Papa Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango Sierra Charlie Hotel. Yes, that's C A P Barge. See you soon or hear you soon in the next episode. And please share as well this episode if you've enjoyed it and would like to let others have the opportunity to use that as well to get new ideas and insights. (laughs) 